Hi, it's Troy at the Full Setup here back for another video today and today I'm going to show you how to overclock your GeForce GTX 1060. Now the graphics card I'm using for this video is a Paylet um, 1060 Super Jet Stream um, which already comes with a factory overclock as you can see down here it's 1620 MHz with a boost of 1848. Now you will have to take these settings that I show you with sort of a pinch of salt because if you're using a different card you're going to need different settings but you can just use this as a basis to overclock your card. Now, um, I will say you take this at your own risk, and before you start doing some really heavy gaming, the best thing to do is just get up like value or heavy benchmark and run that for a few hours. Then you know your overclock is stable. Now, the settings I'm about to show you here, I will have to um, admit I'm going to have to give full credit to Guru3D because I'm just taking the settings out of their review. Um, so I'm going to put their review in the ch in the uh, description as well. So um, full credit to them. It's a brilliant review. So go and have a read. So firstly, we need to open MSI Afterburner or get that program installed um, and then we're going to start with the power limit which we are going to do at 116 and then we're going to do the core clock that we need to set to 110 there we go and then the memory clock we're going to set to 550 so that will give us theoretically 9.1 gigabytes of memory usage now what this overclock will do, it will take your graphics card to about 1730 for the stock and then the boost will show up here at about 2000 but I've already had this boosting to over 2100 megahertz. and if you want to see that go have a look at my channel. I'm just going to leave the fan to auto to now because I haven't really had a high temperature increase so we're just going to leave that then we're going to tick that, set that, put that as number one and we're going to save it as well. Lock that down. So there we go. That's going to save the settings. So let's reopen GPU Z. And here you can see now we have a GPU clock of 1730 megahertz and a boost of 1958. But I'm telling you now, if you go over and look at my Heaven and Valley benchmarks, it runs a lot higher than that. Um, so yeah, go ahead, run Valley, make sure it's stable, um, and then there you go. That's how easy it is to overclock the GTX 1060. God, I love Pascal. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.